for the comments. Okay, so guys, I'm only going live on this channel to tell you guys to funnel over. This is not where I'm going to be live. If you didn't get the message in email or if you didn't get the message on any of my pages, look in the description um, because you can't leave comments on this one because I'm not going to be doing partial late night biz on this channel any longer. I'm actually going to be doing it on my other channel. This channel is only going to be for draping. So I'm actually going to shut this live down and hopefully whoever catches it, go over to where I'm about to broadcast now. So look in the description because that's where the link is um, to the new channel. So I'm going to head over there now. See, there's a lot of you guys coming here. But I'm going to where you guys are supposed to be. So if you want to um, comment or do anything like that, ask the questions that I'm going to be um, engaged with the question I'm going to be asking you guys, come over to the new channel. And let me go. Live. Okay. So, all right, let me see. I'm here, here, here. All right. So, I'm going to flip back to the, I'm, I'm broadcasting from the appropriate channel now, guys. So, again, look in the I knew you guys were going to come here because you thought that's where I would be. Look in the description. Look in the, you know, where the information is. Click that link. That's going to take you to the other broadcast where I am streaming live from. This this broadcast is only up to funnel you guys over there. You can't leave any comments. You can't leave nothing um, because I don't want people to engage on this channel. I want you guys to actually fun, funnel over to where I'm going to be hosting Partial Late Night Biz moving forward. Okay. So you guys are coming in. Ha, I see y'all. <laughs> so I know a lot of you guys are familiar with my other channel. Hey, Kim. Hey, Toya. Hey, Sydney. So I knew. I knew. I knew my faves was going to be here. I just knew it. I just knew it. So, guys, I'm going to give. Well, really, I'm not because I did put everywhere the correct link to where this broadcast is going to be. And then a lot of my people actually do watch the replay. So one thing, I don't know about y'all. But I know it to me. It um, let me turn this down. It drive me nuts when people start a lie, and they be like, oh, let's just wait for people to come in. No, let's get to let's get to the script. So <laughs> I'm going to get to the script. So I'll hold you guys up. Um, let me minimize my screen here. And it's also going to be like a lot of new guys here, right? For one, this is a new channel. So a lot of, I know my my day ones, y'all going to show up. Already know that. Already know. Hey, Monica Boo. <laughs> I know y'all going to show up. So the first thing I would definitely want to say is thank you guys for joining me tonight. I also want to know, I see who's in the building over here um, on the stream yard. But I want to know if any new guys come in, anybody that's, especially to this channel, is a really new channel, right? So if you're new, I want to know who is in the building, and I want you guys to drop me an emoji and tell me exactly where you're watching from. Any people from all over the place, all over the universe. I'd be like, what? So I want to know <laughs> where you watching from exactly, right? So you say, hey, Kim. Hey, Donna. Hey, Monica. <laughs> hey, Joyce. I haven't seen like I haven't talked to you in forever. Kimmy, Kim, Kim, I need to talk to you. Chicago is next week. I need to talk to you, boo. <laughs> so, guys, again, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. Even if you come on late, even if you catch the replay, I still wanted to. I want you guys to tell me where you're watching from, where you're tuning in from, because this is a new channel, and just like I did on any other platform I am on, I am very personable. I'm very relatable, and I'm all up in your face. I want to know who I'm talking to. And I don't want to see these business names. And I'm like, who that? See, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> these got people I like. Tell me about it. From Detroit, I'll be there next week, boo. I'll be there for my Draper Masterclass. And that's the last time we come into Detroit. So, Lynn, come on in. Oh, Tosh, I saw the Lynn Toshia. So, Toshia, come on. Stop past. If you can't come to the Draper Masterclass, baby, come to the uh, book signing. It's going to be directly after. Kimberly, it better be nice because last time I was here, Detroit, the last time I was here, Detroit ain't, ain't do me too good. Ain't do me too good. <laughs> okay, Miss Hawkins, 
uh, or Miss So, I don't know. Watching from New Jersey. Tell me, tell me your name because when I see these names pop up, I get the it's it's like muscle memory. I get the realizing and knowing who you guys are. Nikita, hey boo. <laughs> The weather better be good. It better be good. Hey, Robin, baby. How you doing? Alicia. Nikita, you in the joint now? I did not know that. I did not know that. Or maybe I didn't remember. I probably did know that, though. I got you, Toya. Ma Maya told me about that earlier today. I got you. So she said, I'll be there. That's what I talked about. That's what I'm talking about. Nisi from Orlando. Okay, baby. <laughs> Keisha, Keisha, I knew you better, be, you, you better have showed up. I was about to say, you better have showed up. Hey, lady, I'm your regular for Virginia. Okay. I just registered a business called For You Timeless Elegance. I, can we give it up? She got a registered business, y'all. She ain't out there hobbying it around, right? She ain't out there just putting stuff together without an actual registered business. Give it up for y'all. Give it up. Kimmy, I saw your ticket, girl. <laughs> I knew my Kim was coming. I knew my Kim was coming. Oh, Keisha, I knew you was coming too. I already knew. But I ain't see your ticket yet. I ain't see your RSVP books. <laughs> and you know it's intimate, limited seating. You know, I mean, I stand by what I mean. So you, I need you to hurry up and get in it. Okay. All right, guys. All right, guys. <laughs> Y'all know I had to engage with my people. That's what I do. A lot of them, that's why they come here for that good old precious energy. Can't nobody give it to them like I give it to them, baby. Can't have it. Can't have it. But I just want to tell you guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Even if you are new, I want to tell you welcome and thanks for watching and joining. I hope you join the channel. I'm, I'm just telling y'all. I hope y'all subscribe to the channel. Because if y'all didn't and my numbers don't go up, I will not be pursuing these parts like, like this. I'm just going to let you know. <laughs> and while you at it, like this video because I'm going to give you all the energy that I got. Okay? So one thing I want to ask is I want to ask you guys a serious, serious couple of questions, right? A couple of questions. And I normally don't broadcast with music, so I don't know how it sounds on y'all end. I know for me, I'm an energy person and music it, music keeps me there. So if it's loud, like I don't know how it sounds for y'all. If it's loud, let me know. But question number one, how many people, because there's enough of y'all here. There's enough of y'all here. And I hope y'all ain't on my, my live playing around. How many people are trying to really get to that next level in your business? I, if, if that's you, I just want you to drop the word next in the comments. That's all I need you to do. Drop the word next. I can't be by myself because y'all know I'm always trying to get to the next level in my business. I'm not waiting to a quarter four. I'm not waiting to 2023. Soon as the idea come to mind, boom, we got to do something with it. So I can't be by myself. Thank you, Toya. <laughs> How many of you guys tell me in the comments? There we go. Let it roll them in, roll them in, roll them in. Next, drop that word next in the comments if you're trying to get to the next level in your business. Next thing I want to ask y'all, I'm being nosy, I am, but that's just me. So pay it no mind. But I want to know what do that next level look like? What do that next level look like? I need you to be very, very, very specific. Don't be like, oh, I want more money. Don't we all? And I got enough of it right now. <laughs> but who don't always want more money? Because you always got bigger dreams and bigger desires, right? So what do that next level look like for you guys? I want to know. Some of you guys that, you know, I coach people, so a lot of the, those guys want venues. A lot of them want to lead a nine to five. Y'all know I love <laughs> somebody that's ready to put this in that pink slap. Trying to tell you, ain't got time to be working for other people. But what do that next that level look like for you guys? Be very specific. Is it just replacing your income? Is it matching your income? Is it some of you guys even want to retire your husband because he been there <laughs> through the ups and the downs and the all around. But I want to be, I want to know, like, what is it that you guys, Y'all be in here, out there, all these places, like you want, you know, you want your, your business to be positioned better, but what do that mean? What do that look like? And if, okay. That's right, Kim. You Come on now. You keep, I, I keep saying your name pop up. You order this, you order that, you order this. Baby, what you doing with all that? I don't see, I don't see them in as many mock-ups as I would like. I'm going to call you out. Yes, I am. Because I know you got it. For one. It was taught by the best. <laughs> so I know you got it. Okay, come on, Keisha. Kimberly, doing more mock up social media content. Social media is a big struggle. But I want to take it a step further, Kim. I want you to take it a step further. Why? Why do you want to do more social media? What is the social media going to help you gain in your business? Where is it going to get you? 
If you do more mock-ups, what is that going to get you? Why do you want to do more mock-ups? I already know the answer, though. But <laughs> I want you to tell me, right? I want you to tell me. Um, there go Toya. Again, more social media, more mock-ups. Baby, I can't wait to hit y'all with question number three. But <laughs> don't laugh, y'all. Okay. Employees for my company and end goal of venue to host events. I love it. That is a real tangible goal. That is something that you can put on the board and you can actually work out a plan and the pathway that's going to get you there to one, having employees and two, having a venue. Now, you may not know how to do it, which is probably why you don't have it today. But point is, I just love I just love a vision, baby, a vision. Like I know where we're going. Hello. <laughs> Okay, Alicia, you want more clients, but why? What does that, more clients for you would equal what? That would be next level, but what do you, what do you mean? You get to travel more, you get to, like I said, quit your job, you get to spend more time with your family, you get to check your bank all the time, they'd be like, oh, oh, look at them zeros and them digits, like, what do you mean? Tell me, I'm trying, I just want to know. Keisha, you ain't playing. You've been saying that for you. You ain't playing. And one thing I want to tell you, Keisha, I think that's, it's not a thing. I know. So now that is a part of my manifestation plan. Like, even if I don't know how the heck I'm going to make it happen, I go and put, I go walk around. Well, I don't want a venue, but if I did, I would go walk around and walk inside of venues because you're manifesting it into your space. You're manifesting it into your life because now that you've experienced it and if you want it, baby. The universe is going to work its magic, but you got to do the work, right? So I love it. I love even when you look at properties, right? It's like, I'm already looking for my house. Now, I ain't, I ain't planning on going nowhere no time soon. <laughs> I already know what I wanted to look like. For one, and y'all know I need I needed to be somewhere international where I could walk out on the beach. That's, <laughs> I see it. I see it. I see it. I try to tell you. Goes with the online. So the followers, the toy I'm trying to tell you, look at this channel. I ain't got no followers on this channel. Create the content, but you got to have a strategy in place, right? You got to have a strategy in place. One of my strategies right now, I already have an audience on other platforms. I'm funneling, I'm funneling you guys over here because I know I want this channel to grow. And I don't want, th this channel is not a niche specific channel like my other channel. My other channel is only for draping. Don't ask me nothing about anything else. Because that's why I'm building this platform up so the people ain't confused, right? So it's, it'll happen, trust me. But you have to, you know, when you're creating the content, make sure it's content that people want. Make sure it's content that people are attracted to. Like, it's a brand new channel. And surprisingly, I have 22 people on here. And even though it's not as big as my other channel, but I've been on my other channel for years. So it's like, I thank y'all for showing up. Hey, hey, hey. Get my building up and running. I love it. I love. So is that like a venue building? Steady past income with four cars. How do I make my and my rental make more money than my decorations because I have like a lot of people saying that. Like a lot of people are saying that the rental business is like baby. It's like where is that? I mean, I could I can imagine because like you know turnkey is not like a lot labor intensive like the design side is. So I get it, baby. You got to follow the numbers. Whatever makes sense with the numbers, right? I have several businesses. But I pay attention to the one <laughs> that's breaking in the most dollars. The other ones is not that I neglect them, but it's like, okay, I got time to do that later. But right now, this one is hot. <laughs> Trying to tell you. All right, so I want to ask you guys my last question, right? My last question. All this stuff that y'all just told me, your girl, what's keeping you from that next level? And I want you to be honest. This is the very one thing I'm going to tell y'all about my channel. One thing I'm going to tell y'all about my platform. And one thing I'm going to tell y'all about my spirit. I do not judge. I do not. If anything, I always look for solutions. I always look for some kind of input or something to, one, get you motivated to implement whatever the hell you didn't learn. Because a lot of you guys learn things and you don't do nothing with it. So my, my goal is to just get you fired back up. To start making some kind of incremental change, right? So I want to ask you guys again and tell me. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Thank you, Keisha. <laughs> Keisha told y'all, uh, <laughs> click, <laughs> click, okay? She said, click that button, y'all. Click that button. I appreciate it, Keisha. But I want you guys to be honest with me, right? Tell me what's keeping you from that next level because I'm going to be honest with you guys. With me, what kept me where I was for a very long time, it was me. It was me. It was my mindset. It was my 
un, uh, is that a word? Untrustworthiness. <laughs> it was my uh, lack of self-confidence. It, it was all me. Now, now, I'm not saying that that's you, but I'm saying you need to identify with what the problem is. Like, what, why is it not happening for you right now? Because at the end of the day, we all got our own special, we are all special in our own right, right? It's not like people out here, the most successful people is like freaking super warriors. And they're not, they're people, right? So it's like you have the ability, but you just ain't tapped into it yet, right? And that's one of my passions. I love to tap into the riches with people because baby, <laughs> it's all so possible. But I wouldn't have thought that a couple of years ago. I would not have. I would not have. <laughs> so let me see here. I'm not consistent enough. That's a biggie. That is a biggie. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. I did. I dealt with that as well. And I'm not going to lie, y'all. I'm, I'm much better. But sometimes, because I am a Gemini and I am a creative, I get distracted really, really, really fast. And so sometimes it can kind of steer me off. And so it's not that I'm, con it's not necessarily not being consistent, like not showing up. It's like, girl, get back over here. Ain't nobody tell you go launch something else. I ain't got, <laughs> not, that, that, that's my problem, right? That's my problem. Alicia says consistency and time. Consistency going to pop up a lot on this, on this, um, in this thread because a lot of people deal with it, right? A lot of people deal with it. A lot of people, especially when you're in business and you are in the business. That's when it happens too much because you wear this hat, you wear that hat, you wear this hat, you wear that hat. You ain't got time to show up Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or Tuesday, Thursday, whatever it is. You want to know why? Because you wear too many daggone hats. So, not saying that's your problem, Alicia. I'm just saying that that was one of mine. That was one of mine. Okay. Finding the income to purchase a building. I love it. Like, all the, everybody wants these buildings. Like, dang, what am I, what am I missing out on? Like, that's like a lot of people's desire is to get this venue, all-inclusive thing, all, everything in-house. I love it. So, the point is, like, how big of a dream is that for you? Because I'm a firm believer, and I'm not saying it's fact. I'm just saying I'm a firm believer that if the dream and desire is big enough, you'll be breaking piggy banks that you ain't got. <laughs> I'm just, that's just my belief. I'm just trying to tell you. That's my belief. Working a social media plan to become more visible so that I can track more clients. I'm getting it. Come on, Robin. I love the fact that you said you're getting it, though, because I know you. We know each other. <laughs> So I like the fact that you said you're getting this. To me, that's like, y'all know I celebrate the baby steps. You ain't got to come to me with this whole mountain of a story like you didn't accumulate a thousand followers. That ain't impressive. That ain't impressive. What's impressive is if I know something you're struggling with and it ain't your thing and you made a small strap, baby, it is hope in the future. <laughs> Robin, you know I love you. You know I love you. Procrastinating. I told y'all it's going to pop. Procrastination and, and being, not being consistent is like the most um, common ones. Self <laughs> Back up my baby again. Self-confidence, self-confidence, self-confidence. More inventory. I also debate on paying for ads. Don't really see the profit and pay ads. And me, I think. So, Toya, I get it. But one thing I'm going to say, hold off on the buying the inventory, boo. Work what you got. To get you to a place where you can just invest in whatever it is you need to get you to the next level. Right now, it may not be inventory. You're going to have to take an analysis of what's happening and why you are not where you are. For the most, for the most part, guys, I'm going to tell all y'all, and this is just was this was my experience. For the most part, I was not where I desired to be because I didn't know how the hell to be there. I didn't know how to be whatever I wanted to be. I didn't know how to be a six figure earner. For one, I've never seen one in real life. So it was no no breadcrumbs I could follow at the time. It was I didn't know how to run a business. I knew it sounded cute. I knew I wanted to do it. But I didn't know how to do it. I figured it out. <laughs> right? I didn't know how to cut, to attract the people I wanted to work with. I was attracting bargain basement bank. Why? Because I needed my bills paid. <laughs> and they was around, right? And I took the coins. But until I really got strategic and I learned. It changed everything, not only in one business, but now I have five legal businesses that's just, it got better every time. The first business went to, it went to shit because I ain't know nothing. I just jumped in feet first. Like, oh, this is, this. I was going to be my boss. That's what everybody doing. That's what I wanted. So at the end of the day, guys, 
think about your path to where you're trying to go. Don't and I was the one that jumped out there. I was buying inventory every week. Every week I was hitting them sales pages. A lot of you guys know because y'all was with me from day one. I was hitting them sales pages on Saturdays, just buying stuff, just buying cake stands and linen. And who body am I doing? Who body am I doing? <laughs> right? So it was like I just it was oh my first year in business was just God. I swear to God. But again, the main thing is I didn't know. And the one thing I should have invested in that I didn't because I was too cheap, I ain't gonna lie, was some kind of mentoring or coaching from someone that was doing what I wanted to do. I didn't do that to about year three. I'm like, I pay you, pay you what? I, mm -mm, I ain't doing it. I'm gonna go over here and get these cake stands though. <laughs> I did that every week, y'all. I kid you not. I kid you not. Oh my God. All right, wait a minute. Let me go through this. That's a biggie too, Nikita. I love it. I love that you said that. Now, some of this stuff, I'm not saying I've done everything, but baby, I've done a lot in my years. So being a leader is going to be the, the most critical aspect of a successful business. Most people hire people, that me included, I did it too. I ain't going to lie. I did it too. Because you know you need help, right? You know you need help. You're like, I need help. I need help. I need help. I need a VA. I need a social media manager, blah, 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 blah. But you don't, you don't know. I'm not saying you, Nikita. I'm just telling my expert, my expert. You don't know where you're going. I didn't know where I was going. I just knew I needed more. I, I wanted more people, more exposure. But I wasn't clear on what kind of people. I wasn't clear on where these people show up. I was like, just go everywhere, blast my stuff everywhere, do this, do that. And I wasn't leading. I was more or less just delegating in a way like, this is what I need you to do. They didn't understand why I needed them to do it, right? And you kind of, well, I did. I had the mentality that if this is what you do, you should know what to do. <laughs> but if, at the end of the day, if it's your brand, don't nobody come on my business. Sometimes they say I talk too much. And y'all know I do talk too much. But don't nobody come on my team without clarity on why I need them to do what they're doing. Your goal, <laughs> at the end of the day, if you're my social media manager, your goal is to get me get more eyeballs, increase my visibility by this kind of avatar, by this type of client, right? Don't be over there talking to Sue and bam, bam. I don't want to work with them. So it's like you have to be clear and give them a direct path. And the easiest way I do it now is documenting your process. I document everything I do. I don't care if it's taking out the trash out of my office. I'm going to document it because something happened to me. I need you all to do it the right way. <laughs> right? So, guys, document your processes, please. It's going to make so much more sense in your life. Tell me again, Robin. That was me selling so much stuff you never used. All right, guys, so that's, that was my questions. I love that you got, I love, I love, I love the engagement. For one, a lot of people, um, I don't, don't worry about a lot of people. I'm going to tell you about me. I like engagement on my life. When it ain't a lot of engagement, I get off because it's boring. So I, I know one or two things didn't happen. Either one, I didn't let people know I was going live. Or two, I'm saying something that they don't want to hear. <laughs> so... I love the engagement. Why? Because it motivates me. It's motivation for me to want to continue to do these lives, right? So thank you, thank you, thank you for that. But tonight, guys, the reason why I told you guys to join me is because you are going to learn. Because I had, there's a lot of new people that's, that's to the brand now, right? And they like, they haven't been with me since day one. So they haven't seen all the businesses I was able to build in a short amount of time. It's just, they'll jump on YouTube and see, oh, she do this and oh, she do that. And, Whoa, they kind of like... So I figured the, the best way to kind of open up this channel and these partial late night biz is to tell you who I am, what I do, and how I possibly can help you, right? But partial late night biz moving forward, guys, for you guys that come, you know, was doing it with me every week, this is where the business talk is going to happen because it's, it's so many different chapters to business. I didn't want to put that on the Draping channel no more, right? So tonight, guys, you're going to learn two ways that I help my clients and how I could possibly help you too, right? So I want to ask you guys, are you ready, 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 ready? If you are ready, I want you to drop the word ready in the chat. That's going to tell me that you're ready. <laughs> and also, if you guys have any questions, right, I want you to simply pop that in the chat. If I'm saying something that's relatable or whatever it is, and you, or if I say something and you have a question, pop it in the chat. And I'm going to tell you, I promise you, promise you, promise you, at the end of... What I'm going to tell you guys about, I'm going to do a Q&A for 10 minutes. So I make sure I answer all of you guys' questions, right? And if you guys stay to the end, and most of y'all always do, right? Because y'all know, y'all just love the energy. If you get nothing else, you like, that girl make me laugh. I'm trying to tell you. But if you stay to the end, guess what? 
I got two great incentives just for kicking it with me for this time, praying because you could be anywhere else. You could be with anybody else, right? And you chose to spend it with me. So I want to say thank you. And I'm going to tell you how I'm going to say thank you at the end of this broadcast. And who is on my phone? Oh. Hey, Nikita, say you did something, baby. All right, so guys, let's roll into it. Ready, ready, ready. I love it. I love it. I, oh, I like it. I like it. So the number one, the number one way, guys, of helping how I help people I work with or my clients, my students, all those guys, most people know me as a draping queen, right? I was able to build that brand by helping people through premium draping. And it's not just premium draping. Right? I don't just teach people how to do backdrops. It's so much deeper than that, although that's how I started. But how I help is that I provide things like draping equipment, right? Not just any draping equipment. I was able to scour around and get the best quality at the most affordable price. That's the process in itself. But not only are we able to provide premium draping, we right here at the Porsche Academy also provide premium fabric, blend, fabric blends, creating a luxurious design with a variety of colors and also different blends, such as your velvets, all that good stuff, right? We don't design with one to two different blends. That's a little boring. So we kind of kick it up a notch and we suggest that you put five of them in there, right? put five different blends in your backdrops. Then the last way that we help with premium draping is education. There's no sense in having all these products and you don't know what the heck to do with it, right? So not only do we do the kits, do we do the fabric, but I teach draping. That's how I built my first business, six figure business, super fast. That opened the doors for me to build other businesses, right? I do free and I do paid premium techniques that help you stand out from what everybody else is doing and the boring backdrops, right? I, that is what I teach. So the second way, can I get a two? Hey, Tammy, baby. <laughs> Y'all ready for the second way? It's going to be real quick because what I do is real simple, right? I'm, I'm just going to tell you. Give me a two in the comments. Give me a two. Thank you, Keisha Boo. The second way that I help is through my mentor and my coaching programs, right? I help by teaching mindset and marketing strategies that attract higher buyers at the end of the day. No one want to sit there and do all that work and you're getting paid a couple hundred dollars. That's a lot of work. <laughs> Ask me how I know. It's a lot of work. But I help by teaching that because at the end of the day, that's one of their goals is always to attract higher paying clients. And in the mindset aspect of what I, how I coach is you got to understand that it's the biggest obstacle between most entrepreneurs and a seven figure income is it's hard to really earn earn that when you just don't know how. But most of the time, like I told you guys earlier, it comes from your mindset. Right. I teach others how to transition from a poverty driven mindset to a growth mindset. Now, y'all probably like, what, what the heck is that? In other words, I teach them how to stop being cheap, depriving themselves of their real success, right? Stop being cheap. If you want something bad enough, you're going to pay for the thing that's going to teach you how to get it, how to do it, how to flip it, whatever it is, right? The longer it's even you got two things on this earth. You got money or you got time. And baby, in the beginning, I had a lot of time. I found the time because I was, in, I was not going to pay nobody. <laughs> and it took me a long time to grow. It took me all the way up to I was frustrated, like, I can't do this no more. I might as well go back to work. I can't do it no more. Then I finally learned how powerful investing in myself, betting on me, became because I started seeing change. And I was like, oh, okay, I get it. It makes sense. <laughs> do y'all get it? To say it again, Keisha, let go of being cheap, baby. You, 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 you could get this. I'm not going to say you can't because I did. But it took me a long time. I mean, at least a year. Because I was going the slow route, the DIY route. I'm trying to do everything by myself, right? So if you're really finding yourself stuck at the same income level and you can't seem to move up to the next step, then you are right. You are right in where you need to be, which is on this broadcast. Because I was stuck, and not even necessarily stuck. I was just in this daggone roller coaster thing. I have a good month, or I thought it was a good month, because I was like busy every weekend. But baby, <laughs> that was nowhere near a good month. <laughs> what a good month is now. But then you would go from a good month to a bad month and it just would go. I was like, how the heck? I can't, I can't do this, right? Because you just, but I wasn't preparing. I didn't know nothing about business. I didn't know how to prepare for those slow months. Or I didn't know how to put things in place. But if there is a slow month for this business, oh, I'm going to chug it. I'm going to chug in that one, right? I didn't know about diversity. I didn't know about a lot of things that I later found out. <laughs> and we only talking four short years, four short years ago. 
All this has happened in four years, right? And with the marketing guys, sadly, a lot, some of you guys said it tonight, let's be honest. Clients just don't show up at your doorstep, right? They don't just show up and they want your services. Don't happen. They don't even do that to me. And the ones that do show up, just wanting, they the ones that can't afford what I got. So the ones you the, the ones you want to work with, they ain't just throwing you the thousands. They're not like they want to be sold to, right? Not only that, they they don't even know you because <laughs> you ain't showing up. That's really living life in a dream world if you're thinking that, okay, these people are just going to show up. In reality, you need to market your company every single day to attract clients. You can't just, and, I, and marketing, when I say marketing, I don't necessarily mean jumping on social media every day. I market my company. Sometimes I'm not even intentionally marketing. If you guys remember, I used to wear, and I don't now, so I got different businesses, but I didn't used to leave the house without being branded. And I did that each and every day. And I'm like, if I could sit up here and wear a polo or whatever it was, like, why I can't wear the Porsche Cabin? I want them to know my name, right? I don't want to be like, oh, she look cute because I got on somebody else's stuff. I was like, oh, who is she? You got to step in the room. You're like, oh, what she do? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's where the power at, baby. And then it, it, you bring, you want to bring yourself all the way till people ain't even got to ask who you is. You just step in. They're like, oh, that's that girl from, that's her. Hey, y'all. That is, that is the, the results of great marketing. It don't mean I was on social media every day. It mean, I've, I've made it my business to become a household name. And I did that every day. Well, if I was sending out an email, whether if I was outside wearing my clothes, whether if I was on social media, whatever it was, I made it my business to do that, right? <laughs> I like that I'll have your conversation. I love it. So at the end of the day, if you are not marketing, how will people know about you? How are people going to know what you what you do? I got a lot of new people on my platforms and my email list or from my ads. I got a lot of new people, right? This is my opening market. Now that we're changing things up, if you guys remember, last week we did a new, a new member welcome. I am marketing now to a new audience that don't know me. But y'all see my ride or dies, they're going to show up no matter where I'm at. <laughs> they're going to show up because they already know what they're going to get, right? But you have to market. Don't sit there and be too high like I ain't got to do all that. Yes, you do. Because if you don't, guess what? Somebody clearly going to come up behind you and surpass you. Period. Surpass you, right? So that's what you got to do. And at the end of the day, I get it, y'all. I know that it can be super, super difficult, right? It can be a lot of guys, a lot of you guys are terrified of stepping from behind the, the computer, right? A lot of you guys are terrified going on live. I know because that's what we talk about in my coaching programs. A lot of people are not comfortable with going live, talking to people, and I get it, but baby, you gotta get over that. <laughs> I'm gonna try and tell you. And now, as how long it takes you to get over it, totally up to you. But if you want to run a successful business, baby, you're gonna have to connect with the people. They don't care about your logo. Logos don't logos do not equate to sales. People buy from people, right? Most of my people buy from me. Uh, sad to say, but a lot of them, they just support me. It's the energy or it's the per it, it's it's the connection that we create, right? If I continue, because that's how I started out, I just want I just had my logo. And it was funny because when I finally started showing up, it was like they was like, oh, like, oh. <laughs> then now we get the, I can't believe it's one of us. They 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 had no clue other than like us in the industry, but people that weren't in the industry, like that got a whiff of the Porsche Academy. They're like, oh. I can't believe it's sister. <laughs> yeah, boo. <laughs> but I'm trying to tell you when I started becoming more personable and just revealing the layers and being transparent, it things just shot to the roof, right? But I had to deal with a lot of my own crap. I really did. And I, I, I went through a whole process. A lot of you guys know it. I had to go live by myself. I had to practice. I had to do all the things until one day I just got up like, you want to know what? Girl, you freaking dope. These people love you just the way you are. They love you when you're hand nappy. They love you when your wig's sliding off. They love you. They love you. Just show up because you got what they need. So that's when I started showing up all the time, no matter what was going on. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. Um, wait a minute. What is so Toya, I'm trying to tell you, you, you can't. Let's play. Let's let's play. Well, I can't because I'm on the time thing. But I would love to just play role play with you, baby. 
how I'm going to look at that? What are you giving them to just sign up for a sale? Realistically, I mean, for a yeah, sale text or email. Realistically, do you have what they want? And then people, I know, I don't give people my email or my phone number. And I'll, I'll be questioning people. I got to see them a lot of times. Be like, all right, let me go ahead and sign up. But it could be a freebie. I don't care. Because I'm looking at it like, I'm going to go check my email. And they're going to have a 50,000 emails in my inbox. That's how people look at it. Like, you have to really lure people in. You got to lure them in. And most, most times here today, that happens on video. It ain't too much like a static image saying, hey, sign up for this. And they're like, oh, oh, let me get that. Oh, let me put my 10 digits in there. Girl, and I doing that. I'm trying to tell you, you got to earn people's for one trust. They don't know if they like you, right? They don't know you, and they surely don't know if they trust you. I just told you. As soon as I see it, I'm like, they're gonna be in my inbox trying to sell to me every day, and I don't be with. I don't be with it. I don't be with it. So if if I do sign up for something, it's like, oh my goodness, I really gotta want this thing. So it's just really just strategy and how your wording is. Your messaging could be off. It could be your, your the actual branding itself. Unless I see it, I wouldn't be able to know unless I do an actual analysis of it and tell you where the, the loopholes, where it's not connecting, where you're missing your audience, right? Because at the end of the day, that's realistically the most, many things, that's the reason. Either your messaging is off, you're not saying what they're attracted to. You're not providing any kind of solution. Like, wow, just for a sale? Like, everybody. <laughs> when, and when people hear sale, they automatically gonna think five, five percent, maybe ten if they lucky. That ain't that ain't juicy enough for me to jump. Unless we talking, you know, that just ain't juicy enough for me to jump. So it's just really uh, analysis will really help pinpoint that out, right? But guys, that that I told you guys covers my three step framework on how I help creative businesses grow. I only work in three three areas, right? I'm about to add another one because it's really working for me. But I only operate in three areas. That's skill set. That's my draping programs, right? That's mindset, meaning you have to understand where you're going. Or you can, not only that, you got to understand, you got to realize you deserve it. Like your level that you at right now, that where you're unhappy, girl, how long are you going to sit in that? Just, just ask yourself that question. You got to know you, you, you're worthy, all that good stuff, right? And the last one is marketing. A lot of people don't understand marketing. A lot of people get marketing wrong. I know because I, I got marketing wrong for a long time. I did. <laughs> a very long time. So they're the only three areas that I talk about, I coach in, I mentor in because I have mastered those. I've mastered those in my business, right? And since I've mastered them, I'm able to just launch a business and have it take off because now I know exactly what to do. Before, baby, I'm just trying to tell you, right? But I'm going to tell you guys. Now, if anything, if you're interested in anything that you heard me say, if you are ready to level up, <laughs> we ain't staying, we ain't staying here. I ain't even, even where I'm at, I ain't staying here. I'm ready to go to the next level too. I am trying to tell you. If you are ready to level up, guys, I have two game-changing opportunities for you to take up, to take advantage of, and you know the saying. If maybe you don't. I don't know because I say it all the time. If you don't grab opportunities when they are presented to you, guess what? They can go to somebody else. They don't go to somebody else because it's like a, a revolving atmosphere out there. The blessings are all over the place. But if it's presented to you and you're like, now nah, I'm good or now nah, it's not a good time, baby, it's going to go right to somebody else. That's all I'm talking That's all I'm talking <laughs> And one thing I'm going to tell you guys, another thing about me, a lot of you guys may know, I love action and risk takers, right? Why do I love? And I'm super passionate about those guys. Why? Because that's what got me here today. By taking risks and by taking action. I ain't have a plan. I don't care. I ain't care. But once I understood and knew I deserve more, I deserve more than this. I just, I just was jumping on and off planes and jumping on bandwagons and jumping off. That's just, that's just how I live life now. And it's a much more fulfilled life, but I'm an action taker. I'm a risk taker. You ain't got to coax me. You ain't got to persuade me to do something because either I want to do it or I don't. And if it's a small inclination that I do, I'm doing it. And if it don't pan out, so what? <laughs> At least I can say I did it. <laughs> but for the masterclass, guys, if you are passionate about your draping and you want to take your skills to the next level, our this is our final draping masterclass tour, y'all. This is it. This is it. Y'all keep asking me about it. No. <laughs> this is the masterclass tour that's for you. You're going to learn how to enhance your skills. You're going to learn how to track how your buyers. And this is going to allow you to make more money doing exactly what you love, right? But you have to apply the things you learn, period. 
And if you don't believe me, I got a whole boatload of testimonials on my other um, YouTube channel, right? A whole boatload of them, right? And they are receipts. My, that's my social. Now, all the September classes, guys, they're only seven ninety seven. dollars Ain't that many. And ain't that many spots either. But that's for the class only option. Now, this class show is actually going to end in 24 hours. And it's only for the classes in September. This does not apply to November. November classes are different because, for one, it's not a road tour. This is a is, is different because it's all the way on the West Coast, meaning we got to get our butts and fly. So mm -mm. <laughs> that's a lot more overhead involved, right? So this is only for the September classes. Um, if you was thinking about it, if you was one of the ones in my DMs asking, Precious, you great pass a sale or a promo? Y'all burn me up when y'all do that too. I'm just trying to tell you. You automatically get a tag. It's like, you, you don't. Because I, I clearly understand. I do. I'm playing. <laughs> I'm playing. <laughs> just joking. <laughs> but if you were one of those that was in my DMs, right? You was asking for a sale. You was asking for a promo. This is your final opportunity. This is it. This is it. We have had the pleasure of teaching everybody in our master class. So no matter if you are young, older, uh, Hispanic, of this different culture, LBGTQ, I hope I said that right, LBGTQ, that community, we've taught them all, right? Men, we've taught everybody. And they all had the same outfit. Uh, output. They all had the same result. They all was just super, super, super excited that they took the class, right? I don't care if you are a newbie or you're a seasoned vet. I don't care if you went to the big, the big institutions, because I get them in my class too. Every location we go to, we have people that went to other institutions. They end up in my class. So this is it. I'm just trying to tell you, no matter where you're at, we got you. <laughs> And I'm gonna tell you about the coaching and the mentor, right? Now, my next off is for those who ask me all a lot of people all year have been asking me, pressure, can you coach me? Pressure, can you mentor me? Pressure, can you do this? And unfortunately, many of you were denied because either my quota was full or you simply wasn't ready for my level of coaching. I like I tell you all the time, when I'm coaching, I'm an in-your-face kind of coach. Like, no, <laughs> that's just me. That's my style. It works for who it works for, which is why I'm super, super, super clear and I know who my client is. I know they're going to do the work, right? So we got to go through a vetting process. But right now, I'm opening my calendar back up for quarter four. And I only have 10 slots available to book your discovery session for 50% off using the code Level Up. Again, this offer is only good for 24 hours. I only work with four clients a quarter, y'all. That's it, because my I'm so busy. And when you're working with a client, you really got to work with the client. I only have space and I only have capacity for four. That's just, I don't want to you know, not be able to service them. And, you know, I don't want to be slacking. So that's all I do every quarter. And I have space for two more because two slots are already taken. Now, this call, guys, is only a, a discovery call. This is not to put you in a coaching program. This is not nothing like that. The call is just to see if we would be, one, a good fit. And if I have the solution to your problem, this is not a pick my brain session. So guess what? If you need one, you can book, book that separately, right? It's not a pick my brain session because a lot of people get on the call thinking that that's what it is. It's not. The call is really outlined to hear what your struggles are and to see if I could develop some strategy around it, right? Now, if it's not a good fit, because all, all the calls, most times, 80% of them are not, you will still leave with some actionable steps that you can implement right away in your business, right? I never be like, all right, that's it. Bye. As always, okay. This may not be a good fit. However, this is what I suggest you to do next. So, guys, these are the, the codes. So if you were interested in the booking, the booking your discovery call, that is the link for the discovery call. My sessions are $97 for 30 minutes. And this code gets it for 50% off of that. And the code is level up, guys. One word, level up. And then the Draper Masterclass is no code needed. We already adjusted the flat sale price. If you just go to that link for the bit, the bit.drape um, tour, you'll be able to enroll into the September classes for only $7.97. And guys, let's just say you, neither one of those work. And you just want to hear my style of teaching, or you just want, you know, you just need to be in a space. Baby, all those cities, I'm still going to be doing my book tour. It starts with Houston. This Saturday, we'll be in Houston. 
So I am a featured speaker at the, the Boss Tour, um, along with Winter and like four other ladies. Amazing tour. Then directly after the tour, I'll have my own private, intimate chapter read and book signing. Meaning, I'm going to read <laughs> exciting uh, chapter in my book, right? And then you get to ask questions because my whole book pretty much was about how I got to where I am, all the struggles I went through, how I overcame them. And it's like a guide. Uh, to help, it's like me uncovering my story, and then there's a lot of questions in there I ask to help you uncover yours, right? Because at the end of the day, we all have a story. Mine is not that special. It's just I told mine, right? I told mine. So, um, if you guys are ready to learn how to one ditch bargain based with Betty, two adjust your thinking to make more money than ever before, and three attract Betty with the bag and leave bargain based with Betty alone, I need you to hit one of them links. Now, I'm going to go to these comments because this is where I promise you that I'm going to do the 10-minute Q&A and answer any questions you guys have. Go down um, and put it in the comments now. I'm going to see what I see. I'm going to see what I I'm going to see if I see any questions. <laughs> Toya said, I'm already in the class. <laughs> right. So, uh, Keisha, I see you guys in Chicago. Kim, I love it. Level up. If you don't know... What you want? What say it again, Tammy? I'm trying to tell you. It was plenty of times I didn't know where I was going. And I hired coaches, and they was pissed off or frustrated. Look, look, you should have did this in a discovery call, right? If you did a proper discovery call, you and you would have knew. I didn't know what the heck I wanted. <laughs> I just tried to tell you. That's the importance of discovery calls because everybody don't. Have, everybody can't take you where you're trying to go. And I know where I'm trying to go right now. I can't talk to nobody else on my level. What are we gonna talk about? What are we gonna talk about? We're gonna bounce ideas off each other. It's gonna keep each other right where we at. No, I need to talk to somebody that got a yacht, right? Because I want one. <laughs> I try to tell you, that's who I want to talk to. If you ain't got a yacht, mm -mm, mm -mm. catch me on the broadcast. <laughs> Toya, save your seat, babe. Save your seat. The West Coast is our three classes, and they're the final classes. They're the final tour classes. Is for LA definitely. I've been they've been trying to get me to do LA forever. LA, Vegas, and Phoenix. That's in November. And then that's it. That's it for the Raven tours. <laughs> Y'all better leave me alone. Oh, yeah. So Nicole, I hope that answered your question. That's how Draven Master Classes. And again, the, the books, every city I go to, I'm gonna have a book signing no matter where I go. Um, I win it. Hey, Tanya. Tanya's in the Vegas, Vegas class. Monita, where you was at? I didn't see you, lady. Wait a minute, let me put them back up there because that's the last one. So, my website, everything I just mentioned is on the um, I'm gonna put it in the comments because I had to take them off the screen so I could see y'all comments. So, this is a discovery call. Wait a minute. Let me put in the comments. All right. I'm putting it here so I can put it in here. Now, guys, if you don't have any questions, um, <laughs> y'all are so helpful. I love y'all. Like, love y'all. I swear. So this one doesn't need uh this one doesn't need a, a coupon code. That's just just go to the website or go to that link and you'll see that option to pay $7.97 for the Draper Masterclass. And then the book tour. So the book tour, guys, so many people bought my book when it launched because we launched it on Amazon. So you bought a you bought the physical copy, but wasn't you didn't get the signed copy, right? You didn't get the signed copy. Now the book is not available on Amazon. The book is only available on my website. But if you want to pre-order your book at the book tour, you'll get your 20% discount and it's a signed copy, right? And then you get to attend the event. But even if you don't want a book and you still want to just come and, and attend the, the general admission, you can. You just ain't going to leave with a book. And there's no cost. The, the book side is really just uh, just book tour and it's just getting around and gaining exposure. So the actual general admission 
it is no fee, but you do have to register. You can't just roll up in there like, all right, I'm here. Mm -mm. You got to have a registration. <laughs> because for one, if y'all know me, y'all know all of my events are event. I mean, are intimate and small. I, 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 I like I like it small. So I feel like everybody can get that individualized attention. I can't be in a big crowd. Not yet. Anyway, I, do, I, I will be next year. So I'm trying to tell you all my prices next year, but everything going to increase because your girl did too much this year. I did too much. So I, everything is going to increase next year. But right now, I can't be 500 people in the audience and I'm passing them. No, I want I want people to be able to get that experience. Right. So get your it's only 20 slots. So make sure you got your slot. And they are the three um, the three things. Thank you. Who is this? <laughs> yeah. Right from BMO. Right from BMO. So no, Nicole, um, the the. The, the sale ends tomorrow. So it's it's good for 24 hours. I'm not going to hit y'all with the get it by midnight. That's normally what I do. Because y'all know I, I said I like action takers. I don't wonder why I got to think about it. It's an opportunity of a lifetime. But uh, we're <laughs> we going we gonna to let it roll for 24 whole hours, right? <laughs> All right, guys. So if you're... Wait a minute. Girl, come on with it, Keisha. So, so for October, I got like three speaking engagements. Wait a minute, Keisha, hold on. I made I got a speaking engagement in October in Chicago. So just you know how to reach me. Oh, guys, if you are like a part of my my com community, we don't we no longer use the community app. Um, so the texting feature. If you try to text me on that, I'm I'm switching to a, a different one. Um, so right now we're not using the community app anymore. Um, so you guys will get an email, especially if you're a part of the tribe, and how we could get back on the mobile texting because it's so convenient. But community, I get it, but they uh, we we canceled that service. So guys, that's all I have. For LA. So yes, Nicole, L, all the LA, all of the classes are up now. The LA classes are too, but that's an all-inclusive class. Like the LA class is $23.97. Um, so that price is still available now and it's on flex pay, but the closer you get to the class, the flex pay comes off because it's like a three month flex pay. Um, so that option comes off because it has to be paid before the, before you take the class. But right now that's still on there. That's available. So Keisha, I'm expecting to hear from you and Kim, I'm expecting to hear from you. Hey girl, I know that was you. So y'all be having these names. When you coming to ATL? You can always, you you taking me out though. I'm, I just got to put that out there. You are taking me out, okay? It's like, no, <laughs> you visiting my city, I'll take you out. So you got my number, hit me up. <laughs> thank you guys. I want to tell you, thank you for uh, watching the new channel. Thank you for coming on the new channel. If you are looking for business tips, uh, the continue with the partial late night biz, I need y'all to subscribe to the channel. Point blank, period. My other channel got over 21,000 subscribers. <laughs> Baby, that channel's over there doing amazing, quite by itself. Over here, I got to do a little work. And I can get it done as if y'all help me help you because the channel is to help you, okay? <laughs> oh, okay. You said, I, see, I, like, I like people like that whenever I tell. I'm going to call you girl. <laughs> Wait a minute. Not that one. Nikita, you you see what I'm saying? But guess what? You you better hit me up in Chicago. You bet. That's all I'm gonna tell you. All right, guys, I gotta go. I will be back. Ne Wait a minute. Next week, will we be on a tour? Yeah, I, I won't be back next week because we that's the day we leave for tour. But this is where Parts Late Night Biz will be. So be, definitely make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell because that's going to tell you when I'm scheduled to do the next one. It's normally Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that's all I got. Your girl's over and out, sounding off. I hope whatever I told you guys tonight was able to help you in some kind of way. But until next time, y'all, learn these things I told you about tracking Betty with Big. Leave Bargain Beach and Betty alone. Okay? All right, bye. <laughs> Love you much. Bye. I like the guy on TikTok. Love you much. Bye. <laughs>
All right, this one. Okay, so guys, I did, I kept this channel running so you can see it, but as you see, it's no comments or anything. So if you go to the other channel, uh, if you're looking for the links or anything, they're on that other channel. Um, that link to the other channel is in the description of this video. So next time, guys, I go do partial late night bids, I won't broadcast on this one, but I will be over there. So be sure to um, subscribe to that channel so that you guys can join me. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.